Sunday afternoon. Should be one of the best times to go and do this. <clears throat> and I guess we'll start with a vacuum cleaner cord. I don't know how exciting that is. Oops, I forgot to leave a piggy tail. Old habits die hard. Bed frame in there, someone can come get. Nice little mirror. Oh, boy, that's a heavy dude. Sheesh. It's got big steel posts on it. I could probably take this if I wanted, but it's actually a decent little bicycle. Someone around here I might snatch that up. Let's see if I can find something more interesting. Farkle. Found some skibble scabble on the way here, another cord. And actually that's some rubber cement. That smells really bad. So I'm gonna actually get rid of that again. There's already a bunch of paint things in here, so. <laughs> uh, those were empty. That's just, I can, I'm not gonna sit there and keep smelling that. It's gonna make me dizzy. Oh, skateboards in there. Oh shoot, that's, I thought that was a hose. That's an extension cord, the yellow one. I saw this garden hose. Didn't realize what that was. Shoot, that's an excellent score. I didn't even notice that. Oh boy. I saw skateboards disappear from the Freetail store real quick. I think skateboarders will. That one's actually not too bad. That's, shoot, that's got some decent wheels on it and everything. Huh. Anyways, I think these are the kinds of boards that skateboarders will. be well on just the trash you know uh, but actually those are actually pretty decent boards I think um, I'm sure there's things the skateboarders will do with a trash board that they wouldn't do with their good boards you know break them in half and stuff on video or something but <laughs> anyways oh, that's better than a garden hose shoot that is a chunk and a half right there. Like there's a cut in it. Oh boy. There's more than one in there too. Hey, that's most excellent. That's a good way to start. I'm going through the industrial park. Route, uh, you may have watched that before. It's a large industrial park I'll zip through. Sunday's a wonderful time to do it. That's just coax cable there. HDMI cable. Audio video cable. Kids toys. Inline skates. Uh, free airwave antenna. Those inline skates are pretty well trashed. Singles, another hose, Christmas decorations. Oh, hey, look at that. A little palm sander. That's a nice little fine. What do you think about that? Not too shabby. Speakers. Those are not bad looking speakers. I don't see a brand name. Be 
BMX wheel. Hey, that's aluminum. It's a nice rim. Never there. Oh, this dumpster's full of surprises. Hey, look at it. Oh, I thought that was a big long board down there. I think it's broken. Oh, wait a second. What is that? I'll take that for the scrap aluminum here in a minute. Look at that. Hey, that's not too bad. It's in good condition. I mean, it's used, but four wheel knee board huh well this dumpster's got it all man scrap metal goodies let's get some light on the situation take that for scrap nice piece of steel two rotors in here that's that's <laughs> This dumpster's a video by itself. Yay, yay, yay. Small fortune in scrap. Usable skateboards. Electric sander. Speakers. Kind of a neat little game. That's actually functional. Um, I'll put that in a free tail store. Maybe I can find the balls that go to it. Lacquer. These are half full. It's not really supposed to be in a dumpster like this, but I see it a lot. I assume the uh, waste management, who is this? Waste management has a way to deal with that kind of stuff. Anyways, that's that. Huh. I'm gonna cut the uh, brass off this garden hose. Throw the rest of the hose back in there. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Just starting out. Um, I'm just gonna actually run this back to the storage unit and come back. Give you a guesstimate on this copper wire. The aluminum rim might actually be sellable. I'll probably just take it to the scrapyard, but it's a nice little, nice little bike ram. Oh, that, that yellow cable is real heavy. That's 20 pounds at least. That's over ten dollars worth of insulated copper right there. I'm gonna bust the frames off or bust the frame off this board here. Try not to make too much of a mess. One way to do it. This is actually kind of a lightweight frame on this one. It's not really worth a whole lot, but now that I started the job. Grip of aluminum, no. Lotty doo daddy. Hmm. 
All right. There's nice little brass bits. These hoses, they come off real easy. With a good pair of snips. It sounds like my snips need some oil. this up take it back to the store it's gonna come back real quick where were we right about here when I pulled out of here I saw a tin farkle think about that that's the magic of editing right there <laughs> I put that stuff in my teleporter and threw it in my storage unit what is this looks like one of those floor buffers or something Got some nice brass valves on it. I may have to uh, see if those will come off real quick. This is just the rest of us actually just real lightweight tin. That red piece is kind of heavy, but I'm mess around with that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, good deal. They got that Loctite tape on there, but it's no match for the channel lock. Think about that. That's a nice piece of brass. So this piece of brass right here is probably actually worth more than this whole big piece piece of tin right here that I'm just gonna leave here. It's actually quite lightweight because they use it to push around and stuff, cleaning. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's actually got a nice. It's got a nice. Uh, take my sunglasses off. See what I'm doing here. Nah, I think that's just a piece of steel. That's just steel. Never mind. That uh, some kind of floor sprayer scrubber of some sorts and then the, i'm gonna leave it peeking out in case a scrapper comes by so i can see that There's a, uh, that's like a floor buffer there they look well used so I don't think there's any value other than scrap there. I suppose someone could probably, the right person might be able to use it, but that's not me. Well, this industrial route seems like it's packed to the gills today. I just, almost everyone I look in. <laughs> I see multiple, multiple bows in this one. Open this lid. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm dealing with here. Looks like someone dumped a bunch of their archery equipment. Uh, I think that's a, no, that's actually a shoot. That's a micro USB adapter. Thought that was a string off a bow. <laughs> Some real lightweight tin. I'll take it just because it's gonna fit in the bottom of my tote. It's not gonna take up any space. And then uh, that's a duck. 
it's duck call, look at that. <laughs> that's an interesting one. Think about that. I think that's a goose call. I think it's broken. Or is that some kind of deer call or something? Now, is that supposed to sound like that? Oh no, there it is. It is broken. Anyways. What else we got in here? That's a bag of garbage. Tote full of clothes down there. Let's see what these bows are about. Oh. Oh, it's got a broken string. Pearson. Po spoiler plus Pearson. Um, damaged string I know I don't think that's damage it's supposed to be like that isn't it uh, I don't know what that is huh. I don't know I'm just gonna leave those alone now oh, it was a broken string maybe not sure what I'm looking at. Anyways, more cans of paint. Like I just got saying earlier, it's a very common thing to see. That's, I just assume that this is different. This is Orion. I'm not sure where they dumped their stuff. But I just assume these places had a way to deal with that. Maybe they just put it right in the landfill, I don't know. It's a heavy little speaker. Some decent little painting tools. I might just actually hold on to those for myself. I really like that long one. I need to do some touches up, touching up around my apartment. Ah, garbage. There's a whole box of whole case strawberry low fat yogurt sitting in the sun all day that's the kind of stuff someone will, someone will come along on YouTube at night when it's nice and cool and say oh it's cool take that home and eat it <laughs> open it up and it's just a disgusting mess in there um hey those old navy shorts right there size 30 there's no way that's size 30 give me a break 30 that is not a 30 50 am i reading that wrong 30 jeez that's not a 30 it's more like a 50 why does that say 30? That's kidding me. It's just, I don't understand that at all. 22. Oh, those must be, uh, those must be plus sizing. 22. Anyways, I'll put a little indicator out here. In case someone comes rolling through here. Some actually decent clothes. Are those scrubs? Well, shoot, let's see. No, they're not scrubs. They're big sizes, 26W. And it looks like a... What is that thing? I thought that was a paper towel holder. Uh, 
fortress. That's some kind of lockbox for something. I wonder if there's anything in it. There's definitely something in there. Huh. Not a very good lockbox. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was what was in it, the batteries. Scrapyards here don't take those batteries. They're kind of a misnomer of sorts. There's really nothing I can do with them. They don't really belong in a dumpster, but I don't really have a way to get rid of them either, so. Anyways, that's that. Ready. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this place by dark time or not. Well, that's definitely the good stuff. Wouldn't mind driving around, picking that up all day. Nice bits of wire in here too. Ready then. I think this one gets emptied like once a month or something because I've checked it many times and this has still been sitting in here. It's a hose that looks like an extension cord. This is a fun little dumpster or a fun big dumpster. Box of nails sitting down there. What else is in here? Ouch. Not a whole lot. Try to get some pep in my step. I don't have my flashlight with me. old tools those are a little too too beat up for a pawn shop or anything so it's gonna be scrap on those I think that's actually aluminum yes it is nice pound of aluminum right there and these nails look like they're galvanized Oh. Oh, those are big nails. I really don't have a reason to keep those, but I may hang on to some of them. You never know. Gotta be careful of sticking my hand down there. If 
for the rest of the video. Okay. Race from the sunset now. Fishing rod action. Uh, two fishing rods. Those look like they're nice. The reel's been taken apart. The rod is in perfect condition. Now both reels have been taken apart. That's a neat little rod there. It's kind of got that fly, fly rod handle on it. Uh, Shakespeare. Those are two nice fishing rods. I wonder what went wrong with the reels. There's part of the reel. Cat proof too, I like those. Let's see if they work. Hey, look at that. Those are two look like they're unused little garbage cans. Those are wonderful. If you've got a dog or cats, which I have both. That's exactly what I need. Those are nice little ones too. Uh nice, nice looking. That's exactly what I want, I'll buy those. Appears to be a new garbage company in town. I think they bought out Inland Orion. It's an overhead door company here. They throw out a lot of this nice little pieces of wire. Get those scabble bits. Garden hose, uh, piece of aluminum. I picked up this off camera. It's actually a mouse trip. You gotta be careful with those. I got poison bait in them. Uh, let's see here. I know this garden hose isn't exactly exciting, so I'm trying to make it quick. I've got about. Uh, four or five dumpsters left in this route, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Just about out of sunlight. It's probably getting hard for the GoPro to pick this up anyways. Let's see here. Oh, that's a tough little hose. <clears throat> of course I missed. <clears throat> And another box full of paint. <laughs> it's I wasn't lying earlier when I started the video and say the stuff's all over the place. Some people say, well, it's probably water-based paint, so it doesn't matter if it's in there or not. Well, there's some thinner, some lacquer thinner. <laughs> much, much more than just water-based paint. Uh, well, where'd that guy go? There he is. Okay. It's mulberry season. 
What do you think about that? Just starting to drop. Oh boy, look at this one's just loaded with them. Ah, it's probably kind of dark out, huh? I'll just show you a couple of these little boogers. Actually, those aren't even ripe. Uh, this is the perfect time to come and get them. There's one. Oh, they're so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Deliciousness. Hmm. That's gonna wrap it up. I sure hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching.